This video will demonstrate how to do attribute selection or attribute queries in ArcGIS Pro. And to do this, we're going to use the counties data set with Washington and Oregon and Idaho. Uh, let's take a look at the attribute table that we will be querying. Uh, we want to just select some subset of counties that fit a certain criteria. So, uh, for example, uh, we will select counties that have a total population from 2010 between uh, 50,000 and 100,000 people that will be using this TOPOP10 column. Um, and then we'll try doing a query for uh, all the counties that meet a certain state abbreviation. Uh, notice that each county has a little abbreviation here showing which state it's a part of. So to do this kind of query, we go up here and choose select by attributes. And that will bring up the side panel with the tool uh, select layer by attribute. There's two ways we can specify the selection here. Um, which I'll just describe as this tool loads. One of them is by uh, pointing and clicking using drop down menus and uh, building the, the query condition in that way. Uh, the other way is by typing out a statement in a language called SQL or structured query language, uh, which will allow us to a little more flexibility in how we uh, make the expression. So let's try the simple one here. Uh, we'll just do a new expression and we'll choose everything where the state abbreviation is equal to WA. So we'll select all the counties in Washington and just click run. And when we do this, um, it will uh, find those and highlight them in blue like this. We can even use the drop down. Uh, ArcGIS Pro detects uh, all the different counties that are available. So it's pretty easy to choose a different one and just run the query again. Now, if we want to see the SQL behind this, we can just flip this little switch here. And so this shows us how we would construct a little uh, SQL statement that would select all the counties in Idaho. Notice that uh, ID here is within single quotes. When you query for uh, a piece of text, you have to put it in uh, quotes like that. Uh, now let's do a different selection uh, where we select everything uh, between 50,000 and 100,000 population. Now we could build that interactively by pointing and clicking, but Actually doing that um, takes longer than writing out the SQL. If you get a little used to the um, to the SQL or SQL, you can do it faster. So um, we just need to remember that that field we were uh, dealing with is tote pop 10. But even if we forget, it pops up here. So uh, that's helpful to know. Uh, so we want to everything where that is greater than 50,000 and um, it's less than or equal to 100,000. And by doing this, we've made an SQL uh, query here where we can run. And it will show us the counties that meet that criteria. We can also switch back if you want to see what that looks like in the graphical view. Uh, this is how you would make it by just pointing and clicking.